partnering with civil society is an important feature in all of the country program documents we're discussing today. I have now the pleasure to invite um, Khadija Jaraya, a Girl Scout leader in Tunisia. Khadija, you have the floor. Thank you. Distinguished participants, greetings from Tunisia. I am Khadija Jaraya. I have been a member of the Tunisian Scout Organization since I was six and participated in many national and international events to tackle topics like autism, refugee advocacy, and the COVID-19 pandemic. Our Tunisian Scout Organization counts 90,000 members spread over 1,600 units throughout Tunisia. It incites us to work with communities in all regions, especially the most inaccessible. It promotes the awareness and development of young people to become responsible and active citizens of their community. Young people are indeed the most curious and creative element of our society. However, the current pandemic is negatively affecting us. Social activities are now reduced, and students are switching to online classes, which are influencing their learning, while many remain excluded from learning as they do not have access to the internet. We were more than 12,000 active volunteers to support Tunisia's response to the fight against COVID-19. We have worked for around 2 million hours, which is one third of the total amount of hours worked in the MENA region. On the occasion of World Hand Washing Day, we launched a major communication campaign on hand washing as one of the most important problems, especially in schools. In partnership with the Ministry of Health and UNICEF, we have set up the awareness initiative to incite community engagement in the prevention and fight against COVID-19. We have raised awareness against this pandemic by targeting public places and distributing flyers. We also supported uh, multiple ministries by taking temperatures in schools and public spaces and organizing crowds in front of post offices, banks and hospitals for compliance with preventive measures. We also supported containment centers and the elderly and disabled by purchasing and delivering their food and pharmaceutical needs. We noticed a great response from most of the citizens and we felt that we were distinguished by our scouting uniform. I believe we left a good impact on a lot of the people. We even had citizens providing financial aid to our organization to support Tunisia's COVID-19 response. However, we believe it is still insufficient. We want children and young people to become active and critical citizens and develop a real culture of children's rights. Tunisia is going through important social and political reforms, and we must be actively involved so that our points of view and our expectations are heard and considered. We are full of hope and committed to building a better future for us and the next generations. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Khadija. Um, thank you very much. The young people like you is what gives us all hope. Uh, so thank you for your intervention. I to give the floor to the Excellency Permanent Representative of Tunisia, Ambassador Hadoukou. Thank you, President. Honorable members of Executive Board, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I would like at the outset to extend my warmest congratulations to Ambassador Audra, Permanent Representative of Lithuania, on her election as President of the Executive Board and assure her of Tunisia's full support to her and to the members of the Bureau. And I wish a Happy New Year to June and to you all. I also thank all the panelists for their presentations, and I would like to express my pleasure to have Ms. Khadija Jaraya participating in this session and sharing her experience as a Tunisian girl scout who represents the potential of children and youth in Tunisia. Madam President, Tunisia endorses the the country program document for the cycle 2021-2025 submitted for the consideration of the executive board today. The CPD is the result of a participatory and multi-sectorial process that involved all, all of the relevant stakeholders. This program inscribes within our approach to ensure lasting and sustainable results by building on the progress made during the implementation of our previous CPD and the assessment of its midterm review. It leverages UNICEF's com comparative advantage in line 
with our national priorities and the strategic orientations of the United Nations Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework 2021-2025. In this regard, Tunisia underscores the excellent level of cooperation with UNICEF and commends its country team in, Tun in Tunisia for their support to our national efforts, particularly in the fields of education, social protection and health. It is important to note that we manage to continue and adapt our cooperation in the context of COVID-19 pandemic and the challenges it imposes. Our determination to preserve and promote children's rights is enshrined in our constitution, which stipulates in its Article 47, children are guaranteed the rights to dignity, health care and education from their parents and the state. The state must provide all types of protection to all children without discrimination and in accordance with their best interest. Madam President, the program will contribute to the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals through a child-sensitive approach, leaving no child behind. Priority will be given to achieving inclusive socio-economic development, access to justice, education, health, water, sanitation, and hygiene, and environment, with a continued focus on equity, inclusion, and gender, as well as adolescent participate, participation and I thank um, Ambassador of Tunisia. I would like to give the floor to Mr. Ted Chaiban, the Regional Director. Thank you, Madam President, distinguished delegates, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank uh, the permanent representative of Tunisia, Ambassador Tariq Ladeb, for his uh, remarks. I would also like to express my appreciation to the government of Tunisia and other partners for the uh, great cooperation and the development of the CPD and for the ongoing support to the work of UNICEF in Tunisia. Uh, UNICEF is fully committed uh, to realize the results outlined in the CPD and also to work with the UNRC and UN agencies uh, to support the new UN SCDF 2021-2025, which is in line with national plans uh, in pursuit of the sustainable development goals. Uh, Tunisia has uh, been a, a great example in the region of addressing COVID, uh, keeping schools open safely uh, during the pandemic, uh, paying attention to the socioeconomic conditions of COVID on children and their families, uh, as well as working closely with UNICEF and WHO to access COVAX vaccines. Uh, but today I especially want to convey our appreciation for the positive contribution of young people as represented today by Khadija and the Tunisian scouts to the awareness raising and the response uh, to COVID in Tunisia. Having Khadija participate uh, in the executive board today is a really strong recognition of the role that young Tunisians have played uh, in the response. Uh, it it's, makes us proud to have had this opportunity to be with her today. Thank you. I thank very much, Director Henrietta, who would like to have the floor now. So if that's the case, please, Madam, you have the floor. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Madam President. I just wanted to thank all of the member states for your comments and advice. It has been clearly noted by all of us, but we appreciate your partnership and collaboration uh, for a um, no objection vote on these country programs. Country programs are the lifeblood of our work in the field, and we are enormously appreciative. They represent so much time and effort um, and partnership with the national governments, with civil society, with uh, the young people who are in country, that they will mean a great deal to the future. So thank you to everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much, Executive Director Justin. Share your so appreciation of, of, of 